guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Office Hub in Windows Phone 7 series. Microsoft Office is a very important product to Microsoft, and obviously, they want to have a really good Office experience on Windows Phone 7 series devices. We've been questioning sort of how the interface will look because the Metro interface is not really conducive to uh, sort of creating content. You're going to see what I mean in a second, and we'll see how Microsoft has addressed this. Let's, let's start off in the Microsoft Office Hub, which is, of course, where you come to be productive. So we can swipe to the right to see the different panels. We have a, a quick link right to SharePoint, and you'll be able to see all of the files that reside on a SharePoint server. Very easy if you know your coworkers are editing documents and you want the latest version, you can pull it down from the cloud quite easily. Going to the right, we see Microsoft OneNote. We'll talk about that in a moment. And to the right, we have Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. Let's talk about both of those and how they've been changed since Windows Mobile, the legacy version. Let's start off in Word. So we're gonna type, we're gonna go into a new document. Quite simply, we get a blank screen here. So I can say, hello everyone. And there's a few things I can do. There's a lot of things I can do. Uh, the first thing I can do is click on this little color wheel here. First, I wanna select a word. I click on this color wheel and I get a variety of formatting options. Obviously, this is going to be spruced up a lot uh, when, when uh, Windows Phone 7 series is released. Let's make it bold for now. So quite simply, it's bold. Let's change the color to say sort of red there. Simple edits. Another thing that is new with Windows Phone 7 series and Word is commenting features. Typical scenario is your coworker or your, uh, your, your friend send you a Microsoft Office document. You want to add some comments. You can't do that in Windows Mobile right now, but in, uh, but in this version of, of Word, you can. So we select a word. We go down here to this commenting feature, and we say, um, this looks good. And then what you can do is sort of click out of it. And now you can see that it is, has a little speech bubble around it. So presumably when somebody gets this file on their desktop, it will integrate with Word's commenting features that a lot of people use. So very cool there. Um, we can press the I to get some information, although some things don't work. We're going to try to go back. We can expand the application bar to do other things. We can undo, redo, find, basic stuff. We can send right from Microsoft Word, which is really great. Um, so that quickly you can send this to a friend after you've made changes. You don't have to go into your email application and attach. You can do it right from here. We can do new, open, save as, um, things like that. We can also go to personalize and you can set a profile uh, for certain users. Apparently, you can have multiple users on the device. It doesn't really make sense. Um, and right here, you get a little bit more uh, elaboration on the commenting feature. So let's go back into the application bar, see if there's anything we missed. Of course, we can save this as a file called hello everyone. And there it is. So let's go back to the Office Hub. So you just saw Word. Let's look at Excel. A big problem with Excel Mobile on current Windows Mobile devices is that looking at a big spreadsheet is so difficult. You have various zoom levels, but it's not easy to sort of see an overview of the spreadsheet on a small screen. Uh, we still don't know how Microsoft plans to remedy this. This is a very early build. Um, it also doesn't have, uh, I can't use multi-touch on it. Obviously, I'm not on a touch screen device right now, um, but we can play around with some of the features. Now you can see these, these icons down here are very ugly. This version is nowhere near complete, but we can use it. Um, we can do something like name over here, we can do age, and we can input some things in there like, you know, Bob, age 25 and some things get a little bit wacky, as you can see. Um, there's some things we can do here. We can hit this button, which will actually let us switch between different worksheets, quite handy. Um, we can click the back button. This one will create a new spreadsheet. This one will find, let's see what else we can do here. We can sort. So let's select, let's see if we can select, um, let's make a column with several different numbers and see if we can sort them. All right, so I'm gonna try to highlight these. It may not work too well. Okay, I'm just gonna select column C, maybe that'll do it. And then we get a sort button here, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is actually a format option, not a sort. So I'm gonna go back. Um, let's do sort A to Z, sort options, um, column C, sort order, descending, ascending, more options. Okay, so we can change the sort order. Some more advanced stuff than you uh, 
than we've come to, to know. Um, we can go to format cell, so we can click on a cell, see the type of format options that we can have. So we saw this before, we can make a chart, we can change the font color, very basic options. But then again, you're not going to want to build out a full spreadsheet on your, on your mobile device. You're just going to want to do sort of basic edits. Let's see what else we can do here. We actually have a file menu, which is really strange. So uh, this is not congruent with what we saw in Word. There was no file menu. So again, they're really working on this, trying to get it right. And from here, we can open, we can send it, we can save it as something. And you get the idea from there. Very basic Excel, uh, still not quite what we pictured in terms of a robust mobile Excel client. Let's go to the next thing. Uh, we're going to hit the back button to get back to the Office Hub. And let's go to OneNote Mobile. A lot of people use OneNote on current Windows mobile devices. It syncs very well with OneNote on the desktop. So if you take notes in class or in a meeting, you can sync everything right to your phone. So I can add a new note, and it says I can't sync. It's not set up. And I can just type here, you know, new, whoop, new note. Hello. And then I can click the back button. That will actually, should save it. Yep, there it is. And then we get the Metro interface to pan around and, and access the different sort of content. So here are all the pages that I have. And I can also go to the notebooks, which is which are really compilations of pages to help organize them. Um, and we can click around in some of these things. We can mail it quickly, wrap the text. We can edit it. And from this edit screen, we can record a voice note, take a picture, you know, stuff that we did see in the Windows mobile version of OneNote, just a different interface. And hopefully, they build in some, some better features. So let's go back one more time to the hub. We still have to look at PowerPoint, which you may be disappointed by for now. Um, in PowerPoint, you were never able to make presentations, which kind of makes sense because most people aren't going to make a presentation on their phone. They're just going to look at it. Well, sadly, um, so far in PowerPoint mobile for Windows Phone 7 series, you can only view PowerPoint presentations. You can't make them. Um, it would be nice to have the capability in case you, know, you only have your phone and you need to get the presentation ready for Monday, but it doesn't look like we are getting that. So that was just an early look at Microsoft Office on Windows Phone 7 series. It has a long way to come. It shows some promise in giving some more features that we didn't have in the Windows Mobile version, which hasn't changed in 10 years. But we'll keep an eye on this, and we'll post more about this as soon as there's something new to talk about. Be sure to subscribe to our video channel at youtube.com slash pocketnowvideo to see all the latest Windows Phone 7 series videos. That's it for now.